hey guys welcome back to my channel this video is kind of a continuation of the same topic from my previous upload about frenemies however in this video i'm going to tell you 10 ways that you can handle frenemies so let's say you have frenemies that you can't really get rid of because perhaps you guys work together or you um perhaps they're even your roommate or something and for some reason you can't just get rid of them here are 10 ways that you can handle them in such a way that they don't negatively impact your life. Okay, number one, don't divulge any personal information to them because they will use this as ammunition against you. If you're not close friends with a particular person in your life and you don't believe that they like you genuinely, then you shouldn't disclose any personal information to them. You shouldn't um, tell them about your personal problems, even if it's not a problem, if it's just something good that happens in your life, whatever it is, just don't disclose any personal information to them. Don't, if you're making a big purchase, like a house or a boat or something, they don't need to know that because you are trying not to have a close relationship with this person and one of the fastest way to do that or the best ways to do that is to keep them from knowing a lot of things about you especially private information um, not only can they use this against you in a negative way but they will have they will paint you in a negative light or they will disclose it to someone else and you know it might be something that you want them to keep to themselves but if they don't care about you and they don't like you they're less likely to do that so the best thing just don't divulge any personal information to these people number two don't ask them for help unless you absolutely have to if you work with them and you guys have a project together or perhaps they're your maybe they work I don't know in the same department as you and you need their help in order to do your job then yes you have no choice but to ask for their help but if you don't absolutely have to don't go asking them for help when you ask them for help you're putting yourself in a situation to either be disrespected or to have some sort of a negative experience with them because it increases your interaction with them and you want to limit that so don't ask them for help unless you absolutely have to Number three, offer help to them when they ask you, when you want to. And if it's work related, then I would suggest that you be professional and um, don't refuse to help them because then you're affecting your work and that's not right. So if it's work related, sure, get your work done in a professional manner, but if it's not work related and they ask for your help or they constantly ask for your help, because frenemies tend to do that a lot, they only come to you when they need your help with something. And if that happens a lot, help them when you want to and not whenever they ask you to. If you don't feel like helping, just don't help them. You don't want to stress yourself out over a frenemy because they will not do the same for you they you cannot depend on them when you really need them so there is no need for you to go out of your way and spend all this energy trying to help them and jumping through hoops thinking that they're gonna appreciate it they will never appreciate it and they'll always come back and ask for your help only when they need to sometimes when they don't need your help you will never see them or hear from them so yes you have to be conscious of that as well Number four, don't let them get under your skin. They're going to want to do this a lot. They may plant some seeds in your mind or perhaps when you're having a conversation and there are other people around, you might say something and then they will say, no, I don't think that's really the way it works. Or they try to correct you even when you're not wrong. Like I've had this happen to me so many times and I've seen it happen so many times. When I would say something, maybe I will use a particular word, they will try to correct me in a very loud embarrassing way and tell me to use a synonym of the same word that I used and sometimes I let it slide especially if I'm not sure if that person is just trying to um, like talk down on me or embarrass me if I'm not sure I let it slide but if I am sure I always correct them oh no that's just a synonym for the same word I use it's essentially the same thing and then I continue you know talking about what I was talking about before they interrupted me so don't take the bait just find a way to like dismiss what they say in a um yeah I mean if you feel that way you can use phrases like that or you can say eh, 
just don't give it that much energy you know so don't take the bait they might try to rile you up or try to get you upset or make you embarrassed or something just brush it off your shoulders and keep moving <laughs> number five is don't try to have a close relationship or friendship with these people because it will not work if you guys have known each other for a long time and they they know you they know who you, what kind of a person you are and they know that you're a good person and they still don't value that and try to develop a good positive relationship with you they will never do it so don't try to please them or say things that you think they want to hear or always be there when they call or buying them gifts or remembering their birthdays or any of that crap because you think that that's gonna um make you guys closer it's not going to work you just have to leave these people the way that they are especially if they're adults of course i'm talking about adults here not kids um as adults we all you know we know right from wrong and when we choose to do the wrong thing or treat people in a way that's negative it's because we choose to do that it's not because we're not aware that you know what we're doing is wrong so don't try to have a close relationship with them just keep your relationship either strictly professional or strictly casual number six don't initiate conversations with them just don't do it if they initiate a conversation and it's something they're passionate about they want to talk sure you can talk to them about it if you're not busy if you're busy tell them you're busy you can't really you know have a conversation right now and keep doing whatever it is that you're doing but if you're not busy perhaps you're in a room working on something together and they choose to keep quiet and not really have a conversation with you and you can hear crickets chirp in the corner or you can hear a pin drop or whatever leave it let the silence roll don't try to initiate a conversation don't feel uncomfortable by the silence because that might be a tactic that they use to draw you out and bait you and make you do what they want you to do so basically um i know for a fact that some people use that to kind of make you feel as though you have to try to get them to interact with you as if that makes them better than you so if that's what they're trying to do don't fall for it don't try to initiate any conversation let them initiate conversation if they don't initiate conversation then fine you guys can stay in silence or you can put on your headphones listen to music or podcasts or my videos that was number six number seven i'm very good at number seven don't always give them attention it is not your responsibility to give them attention just because they're around ignore them sometimes if you want to talk to them fine if you feel like you want to have a conversation with them fine you can do that but don't don't always give them attention if they're in a room if they come into a room and they're making all sorts of noise and they expect you to drop whatever it is you're doing and make them the center of your world just don't do it don't give them the attention ignore them sometimes if you don't feel like interacting with them don't interact with them when you do feel like interacting do interact with them when you do this you'll find that you are you will feel a lot less stressed out by unnecessary interactions or having to go out with them when you don't want to or so don't make it a thing where you have to interact with them just because you guys are at the same location you know so if there are other people around you can talk to other people you can spend your energy on positive interactions with people that are positive and that are true friends of yours but don't feel the need to constantly interact with them just because they're around this wig is so shiny number eight don't invite them to your home and don't have them meet people that you care about for the simple fact that the friendship is disingenuous if you don't like how a person treats you and you don't think that your friendship is real and if you think that they're trying to use you for something or they don't really like you they just hang around you uh, for whatever reason they choose why would you invite them to your home don't invite them to your home don't introduce them to people that you care about don't this is all part of not um 
not opening up to them and not telling them about your personal stuff so it all falls under that umbrella so you want to keep them at a distance you don't want them to know stuff about you because the less that they know the less that they can use against you to bait you or to to embarrass you or to talk about you or to plan um, how to take advantage of you so let's say you have um, some amount of money and somebody that does not really like you but begins to interact with you and you invite them to your home they find out that you're rich um, what happens they will begin to plot ways that they can and pretend as if they're very cool with you and you guys are like BFFs and they will get you to spend money on them or loan them money that they probably will not pay back you know stuff like that so that is why you want to keep them at a distance don't bring them to your home don't show them what you have just don't bring them close number nine is very important and that is don't make partnerships with them so don't start a business with them don't start a project with them don't make them a partner in your existing business don't don't work with them unless you absolutely have to at a job but if it's your own personal project something that you have better control of don't bring them in because due to the kind of relationship that you guys have which is not a positive one you are less likely to be at your best there is really no point in bringing in somebody that you don't trust you're not close to you don't like to have around they don't like you they don't probably don't trust you either so it's not the best to bring a person like that into something that is so important like your business or your personal projects you are less likely to put in your best um, effort and the project is less likely to succeed so it's just not worth it number 10 is the most important of all of the points I've made today and that is don't try to change them don't think that you can change them honestly sometimes when you try to change a person that's been negative to you for no reason you will be hurting yourself in the process because you would either stop doing some of the things that you used to do that you used to enjoy because you don't think that they would like you to do those things or you go out of your way to try to please them and you um, you may do that to your own detriment and it's not worth it to try to change them because first of all you cannot change people all you can do is be your best self be a positive person and you know just treat them in the same way that you want to treat yourself and if they see that they get to know you and they still decide that they don't like you then that is their problem don't try to change them because 99.9% .9 of the time you will not succeed okay it's a pattern that these types of people have developed they tend to have some insecurities or something that causes them to hate a positive person or to dislike a person but still try to be friends with that person it's just a whole dysfunctional mentality that they've been carrying around for a long time you cannot change them you don't have the time for that the life is too short there are other good people around that you can make friends with you don't need to hang keep these people around and you know try to change them and make them better people because you will not succeed so these are my 10 ways that you can handle frenemies. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave your comments below. Subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. It's Florence Michelson. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.